What is going on here? Is this normal behavior? Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 5 with me, False Symmetry. And today, welcome to the dark depths of my base. That is, it's quite dark down there actually. I haven't noticed that recently. But today, we're getting straight on with the episode. I've got ideas flowing in my brain. I'm like, yeah, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Let's just hope we have enough time to get it all done. So, as you'll see over here, I have a plan. The plan is to build a ship over here and it's look awesome. Now that is the plan in my head. Whether or not we can actually recreate that is a different matter. But also, as you can see, I have been busy with some more dirt removal or mycelium removal, swapping it to grass and then dirt and, you know, all that goodness. And yes, before you comment, oh my god, false, use the water trick. It doesn't work very well on my terrain, okay? Yes, this bit's flat, but actually the flat areas are the quickest. The flat, if, if only this whole place was flat, I would have just got it done in no time. That is the quickest area to do. So I think I might actually finish this up and do kind of from there to, why am I flying? There to there, and like there to there, so that I've got this like nice block of grass growing while we are getting on with the ship design. Now, I'm thinking I don't want to go completely like, I don't want to go traditional ship, like I don't want the black sails and I don't want it to be kind of like the black pearl or anything like that. I think I want it to be a little bit more mystical, since a lot of people kind of see my base and think, you know what, it's a bit kind of mystical, there's loads of mushrooms everywhere, loads of cool trees and those, look at that in the mist, man, I'm so looking forward to actually spreading that out. I feel like I've kind of done that and then I've not like accomplished anything else but today we're gonna be working over here and yeah my original plan was to work just over there but then I don't know I feel like it's nice if I've got an idea to do it then and there and we'll build up the whole area as a whole as we go which is why I want to get a lot of the dirt and grass done and a lot of the kind of that area over there where it's gonna be just dirt and coarse dirt which is going to be super cool. I think that's going to be a nice contrast against the grass. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get on with that. Let's do that. Let's time lapse that. Let's run that time lapse. And I'll catch you guys afterwards when we're ready to build the ship. Let's go. this ship that might be a little bit of a problem is that I need some wool for the sails. I might also need some more wood. I'm really really running low so tonight if I live stream I will probably do a whole bunch of wood gathering because blimey we need a whole bunch of it. I also need to actually saying that update this map I've just noticed how purple my side is when in fact I think we have actually covered over this whole area with grass here, and also a very, very large chunk here with grass too. We've only got this bit here to do with grass, and then this bit with the coarse dirt and, uh, and, uh, and all that jazz. Oh, it's going to look so sweet. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted by that beautiful image right there. And also, we'll have to keep updating uh, Azuma's Island too, because his is going to look super, super cool. But yes, actually, saying that, that up there, I believe, is his sheep farm. So I thought... Hopefully, without, without spoilers, we should be able to head over to his and maybe borrow his sheep. I don't know how his sheep farm works. And I don't know if we've got any other colour we want. We want a little bit of white wool and the majority of dark grey wool, I think. That is the colour scheme I think I'm going to use. So let's have a quick peek, see what he's got going on over here. And, well, they all look to be green. So that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, flying back from X's, I've got a plan of action. If I grab a load of lime uh, dye... For the sheep that I am going to dye dark grey, then I should be able to like, yeah, maybe I'll breed them up as well when they're all dark grey and yeah. Uh, basically I'm helping him out, right? If I just make them green afterwards, he'll never know. He's not on right now. He was on earlier, I think, but try it. he won't know. He won't mind. It'll be fine. It'll be fine and at some point we'll have to get our own sheep farm because I can't be using his all this time. Blimey. Ah. Problem though, I've noticed that these guys aren't on grass and I don't think they eat mycelium. I guess I can try shearing one and seeing if it eats it, but I've got a feeling they don't eat mycelium. I don't know what these guys are here for, but uh, well, now he's got one naked sheep. <laughs> don't mind me, X, just just dumping around, it's fine. 
nothing weird's going on. But yeah, these are the guys that I guess he is using to shear, but there aren't that many dark grey ones. I guess I can do some just like picking and choosing of which ones I shear, but I don't think that's going to help a huge amount. We'll also get some light grey while we're here. Why on earth are not? Let's see what we can pick up. Okay, that is looking all nice over there, nice and green. We're going to obviously continue moving over there. But I think what we're going to do is do that maybe before next episode or the episode after. Maybe the episode after, that might work better. Because obviously I want this all green ready to start placing stuff on top of it. Because what I've decided uh, with, with this, if you didn't catch my previous episode, is this going to be the industrial kind of shipyard sort of area on this side. So this will kind of be a dock. I'm going to bring it out into the water maybe a little bit. Although probably not because, uh, as I've mentioned before, this is ocean over here. This is why it's got torches on it because it actually needs torches on it, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, we're actually going to get started on the boat itself. I'm going to have to make uh, this uh, level first, I think, is gonna be how it goes. Although maybe maybe I'll have to build the episode uh, the layer below. Mm, it's gonna be kind of difficult to build this one. I know that it starts with like a a three like that, and then there's like a spruce and a spruce either side. But other than that, I'm not really sure. It's gonna be very very difficult. And but I have got myself some potions. So I'm hoping that I can just use those. We've also got everything else. I'm also at the same time breeding up sheep over there and doing that thing because Azuma's sheep farm didn't really work exactly that well. And also he's on right now, so I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna leave that over to him. But we've got a fair amount of grey wool right now. We'll keep going back and forth, breeding them up, shearing them, and getting loads of grey wool for the sails. Because I'm thinking at the front of the ship there's gonna be a small little sail about there. And then on the back of the ship there's gonna be a big one, which hopefully will have a skull on it. I, I know I was saying no to the black pearl idea, but can't I have a skull on a on a ship? Like if you don't have that, then like what what are you doing? Come on now, it's cool, right? Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I need to get on with this. So I'm gonna sort of try and build half of the ship underwater with my potions. I'll come back when it's done, but it's gonna be quite difficult. I've sort of gone off of a few ship images to to build this thing. So it's gonna be quite difficult to copy and um, from my design that I made, but oh my goodness, ships are the most difficult thing, but the worst in the sky. So at least at least it's in the water. I can at least swim and be a lot safer there. Anyway, uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pretty much nearly done with half of the boat here. I'm sort of trying to build the back end of it right now. That will probably do for that part. I guess it's quite difficult. Oh, it's also night time. Kind of handy. Um, well, it's, well, it's handy that I've got night vision because because nighttime and being underwater, yeah, that's not a good combination for being able to actually see anything. So I think what I'm going to do is do that, and then I think we need to kind of do that, and then like that. I think it goes like that, something like something like that. I'm not sure. Did I get rid of that block? I wasn't looking. Right, that that's sort of it. That's sort of like half the ship there. It's very patchy, but that's the sort of shape. You won't be able to see it like. Like you can see it now, it's going to look a bit off because it's not meant to be seen like like this, uh, and you can't actually really see it from above land. Now the only problem is that what I've ended up with is this part here is not low enough. That's too high. Uh, maybe there's something wrong. I need to like double check my images, I guess. But uh, as long as nothing spawns up here, we should be pretty good to carry on at our own pace. But yeah, let me make sure that's correct. Then we'll just get on and do the other side, and that's all the underwater part done. And then the exciting part happens, the part you will actually see, but I don't think you can actually just build the top of a ship and then be like, yeah, that's it, it's done, without having the bottom done first. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good, though. It's looking pretty good. Huzzah! We did it! We did a thing! The thing is done! We sort of pretty much copied the uh, the netherrack. The netherrack's actually pretty accurate. I was surprised by that. It was, it was about the size I was kind of going off of. So hopefully that was all good. Now these were here because I, I don't know, I think that they're, they're accurate. I can pretty much, pretty much get rid of this side actually as well. We will need to put torches in this as soon as I uh, empty the water out of it though, but it has just become daytime so we're good for that. Uh, I was going to use sponges but it's not really worth it when I can just like fill it in with dirt. So what I'm going to do is grab a load of dirt, fill it in layer by layer with dirt. Then just dig it all back out again, because I think, does my beacon reach over here? It might do. Well, e e either way, dirt, dirt's like pretty much instant mine anyway. But there we go, we have a ship that is looking pretty fantastic. That's as much dirt as I pretty much have right now, but 
yeah, it's a pretty good size as well. Not too massive. I do actually plan on building a bigger one, possibly over there where there's a richer area. Like that's going to be kind of the regal, the posher area that kind of maybe where they could possibly like afford bigger and larger, more kind of let, let, less cargo ships. Like this is this is probably going to be more of a cargo ship as much as it will be quite pretty. Um, and cargo ships probably aren't. But yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's, that's looking good. But anyway, I'm trying to trying to use my um my vision as best as possible, although I don't have enough dirt, so I need to quickly go fly over here, grab some more dirt, go back, try and use my night vision to just touch up the outside, make sure it's all proper, and um, yeah, then we shouldn't need any more potions. Oh my goodness, am I having issues with invisible blocks today? There's one right there, I can see on my camera account, I brought my camera account on specifically for it, there's one right there, there's literally one right here, there's one right in here, there is one... In front of me, like there, I think. No, it's right in front of me, like there. Perfect, got that one. There's one up here, and there's one left, right, like here. No, up there. No, it's like there, I think. Is that it? Oh my goodness, I've been. Oh man, the invisible blocks today are just, they're evil. They're just popping up anywhere and everywhere. Like within this small little boat area, we had like 10 invisible blocks. Ridiculous. You might be wondering exactly how I'm going to make this sort of a bit mystical because currently I am just using wood and now that is to use prismarine a little bit. Since uh, Impulse gave me a whole bunch of it, which is fantastic. Thank you so much Impulse again. Oh my goodness, he's just like giving away like three stuff and I'm like here like la 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 la, just going to use it all up and uh, not really give him anything. I haven't really got anything to give him back. Like I'm not really a farm person in the game. So like I don't really have farms and therefore I feel like bad because I can't really offer anything to anyone else other than like building stuff. Um, or like, I don't know, doing that kind of thing. Uh, let's make sure we build it the same way this side. But yeah, this is going to be the design on the outside. Like right now it's looking awful. But once uh, we've got it going, why am I... Am I in the... How did I... I don't know how I did that. That was pretty impressive. I placed the block in myself. That's just weird. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be sort of like this. And it's, you'll, you'll see it in a second when I back off. Let me just make sure I put the correct... Let's just put that there. That'll be fine. Doesn't matter if it's the correct block. We can we can figure it out. But... Oh, you're going to be able to see the top, aren't you? Mm, yeah. So let's, let's get in the water. There you go. That's the view I want people to have. There'll be blocks on top of it, so you won't see it. But it'll look good. It'll look good. Trust me. It's gonna just pop a little bit. Pop a little bit of colour. That and a bit of grey. You know, it'll be it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Trust me on this one. Trust me, guys. Right, let's get the shape. Let's make the back nice and high up. Make the the front kind of point out a little bit. And um yeah, then figure out what we're doing on the interior and the floor. I think the floor goes about like here. Actually, I think here's like perfect, so. Let's place this in, and um, yeah, then we should have enough room down below to do something cool down there too. Oh, and torches. Torches are definitely needed. It's getting dark, and I don't know who's going to sleep, so let's make sure this isn't spawnable, because we will have some issues otherwise. Some massive, massive issues. Right, let's look at the boat. It's looking a bit lame right now, I'm going to be honest. We're going to get a lower, lower view of it, because it's not... Uh, the tallest of boats. Uh, it's actually quite a low one, but again, like I say, it's a cargo kind of short, sort of ship, uh, and I want it to actually be able to kind of reach the dock and stuff like that very easily. So I can just put a plank, I uh, guess, along here perhaps, or maybe along here. It's actually close to this side, which is not really what I wanted. But anyway, I thought I'd add some detail to this. Let's try not to fly so I'm doing that weird flappy thing in the ocean. I hate doing that, but I wanted to add some anvils. Uh, I've got enough for both sides. I think I've made the spaces for both sides, and then there should be... Oh, I need one left. I don't know why I've got an extra two, an extra one even, um, but there you go. That is that, I guess. Did I misplace one or, or something? I should put, put it down there for now. Why not? Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. So that there is the start of the uh, the front um, thing. It's going to be like a triangle like that. Um, I wish I knew my names of triangles. I don't anymore. <laughs> I was just about to go, it's a uh, so-and-so triangle. The name just went. The name just disappeared. But yeah, I'm hoping like to build one of them, like a small little uh, front sail. I don't know enough about boats to be able to be like, it's the sail, it's that sail. I don't really care that much. And then the other one's going to fill up this space here. And uh, the wind, uh, what did we do with the wind? Did we say it was flowing this way? I think it was flowing towards the west, right? So, uh, my plan was to obviously, hmm, I don't know, it's hard to build a sail with wind facing that way or that way, right? 
So I think what we can do is have the, have the wind blowing in this direction a little bit here. Just like as if it's kind of coming in... I don't know, it could be coming in at a diagonal, I guess, would work. It doesn't really matter too much, uh, and we'll probably put a flag on the top as well. That will definitely be flowing the, the correct way that we want it to. Um, so yeah, actually one thing I haven't done yet, oh, that's something we need to do, is get us up... Well, I got spun around, I got spun around, I fell in the water, don't worry guys, it is fine. Uh, one thing I need to do is get on with making ourselves a little ladder down here, because I think I might have left it also dark down here. Please, no creepers. No, we're okay. Whew, that could have been that could have been a bad one there if there were just like creepers just hanging out in here. But yeah, I wanted a ladder. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, I'm 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 also collecting uh, brown clay. I've only collected two bits so far. Uh, not clay, wool. So we need to get some more of that. That's going to cover up the prismarine because obviously that doesn't work on the surface, but it only works nicely as a little touch. Uh, one of the slides I do actually want to put like a um. Uh, what do you what do you want to call it? A cannon? Because <laughs> as much as it might be a cargo ship, it might still need a cannon. I don't know if that's a, mm, is that too big for a cannon. Yeah, let's go to there, possibly. I've even already got these on me, so we'll put that at the end. Nice, nice. I'll probably look make it look better at some point, but that's that'll be that side. We'll have the path this side. And with the path, what I'm thinking, let's, let's see if we can do this, because then we can get rid of the weird netherrack stuff that's going on. I wonder... Ooh. No, mm, shitty kid. This is going to be more difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, maybe? No, yeah. Mm. No, we, have we got it? Have we got it down? Oh, yeah, every time I bounce up, I can place one down. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, I'm a professional. I'm such a professional, but look at that. Imagine if we if we had, like, the dock, like, here. We won't make it out of dark oak, but let's, let's remove all this. Let's remove you as well. Get, get out of here. We'll also, you know what, actually, while I'm here. I might also add a little bit of detail with some of these guys. Don't want you. You can... Oh, but, oh man, it's so so easy to get rid of with my axe. My axe is like pro. It's a professional axe. It's it's just too quick. It's too quick for me. But imagine we're on the dock and we're like, oh, let's go on... No, this is way too long. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. We'll have to bring the dock out a bit then here. We'll have like a... Yeah, we'll have... Oh, this is where we'll have like a proper like dock. The rest will be like a sidewalk, and that will be the dock. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so it won't go all the way, but we'll leave it there for now. And, uh, yeah, this is starting to come together. It's looking a little bit derpy, but let's maybe work on the sails and this kind of part here. This is going to be sort of like the, um, what do you want to call it? The fencing? I don't know. The, I don't know. The... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to leave it. For you guys in the comments to be like, this is this part, this is this part, this is this part of the ship, and I'm going to be like, yes, okay, guys, whatever. I'm going to forget that in two seconds. So let's go on with the sails. Let's go on with this little bit here and maybe try and build the back sail as well. But don't know if I've got enough wool for that currently, so we might have to do a bit of AFK. And while I'm going to get lunch, we'll 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 get some uh, get some sheep being sheared and stuff. Awesome. Okay, so I wasn't going to show you guys yet. I was going to do the sail, but I just flew in from over here. Look at that. Oh, that looks, that actually looks like a real ship. Oh, I did well with those fences there. Oh, I did well with those fences. Yeah, it doesn't look as good close up, but it's not really meant to be a close up build. Oh, it's going to be so sweet. Okay, right up there to place a whole bunch of wool and then end up not having enough. 63 though, that's quite a lot. That'll get us at least doing this one, I think. Oh, that's a sail and a half. It's not actually attached to the top yet, but that's a good shape. That's a good shape. I like that. That's a very good shape. I like it, I like it, I like it. I want to bring in another colour to this place, though. I don't know where to add it. Maybe I just need to add more trapdoors, add more, like, funky stuff around the top of this little area. But yeah, anyway, uh, I've only got 18 left. <laughs> I went through quite a lot there. Oh, nearly a whole stack. Okay, okay, I've got to do some breeding of some sheep and stuff like that. And then we can get on with the other sail, but it's going to be a while between then and now, so wish me luck. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, because uh, I am having to wrap up soon. So let's uh, let's go get the sheep rolled in, and um, let's go actually collect some more wheat as well from our farms over here, which hasn't hasn't grown, so great. Okay, another bit of a flyby, look at this thing, it's looking very, very nice indeed. What is going on here? Okay, that's just, uh, I thought that block was like sticking out, I thought that was a weird thing. I've got an itchy nose, let me go. There we go, okay, so what I'm doing now is doing the whole carpet thing. 
I have uh, used all the wool that I needed and now it's literally all about carpet. I need to fill this thing in with carpet so that nothing spawns on top. At least I think that that should stop things. Yeah, carpet does, doesn't it? What was it that doesn't? I think someone said like, oh, no, what was it? I don't even remember. Something doesn't stop things from spawning. It isn't carpet, is it? Imagine if it was carpet and I'm just doing this all for no reason. That sounds likely. I do need to do the white as well because there is a few little spots of white here. One, two, three. And as long as it's all carpeted, we shouldn't have any mobs falling on our head when we're on the ship because this is a spawn area, as you guys should know. Um, that's why there are light torches on here. So I will need some more wool by the looks, but as long as we make the majority, if not all of it spawnable, I'll have to do the inside as well. Also, by the looks of it, I need to remove a lot of dirt. But yeah, it's looking cool. We've added the skull, as you can see. Oh, it's going to look so good. But again, more warnings collecting, but I don't know, it's cool. It's cool. I'm very, very glad that I used a lot of inspiration for the sails, especially because, holy flip, they're difficult. They're so very difficult. It's ridiculous. So with the time I have left, I'm sort of moving on to the interior a little bit. We are going to have to check the light level, though, because I'm not sure how light it's going to be in here. Yeah, looks light enough. I've got three sea lanterns in the ceiling because they will be lighting up the top as well. Like so, as you can see. And I think it looks okay. I don't know what these bits are. I need to remove these, but actually this might make it sportable, which could be an issue. I don't I don't know. It's the only issue. I don't like it. I'm in an ocean right here. Blocks are nine. That's a seven. What was a seven? I just saw a seven. This stair? Is it that stair? No, it's this one. I don't know, why is it say in, in between that, that? The middle of those blocks is seven. I don't know how that makes sense. Uh, I will just leave that to do its thing. Right, I guess I should probably put like a, a light there then. That might be a good place for it. Yeah, let's do that and let's maybe put like a stair in front so it looks a little bit better. Yeah, that, that'll be okay. So there's light coming through that. It's making sure all this bit non-spawnable. As for up here or to the side, that block light is eight. There's slabs, shouldn't be an issue. These are slabs as well. Stairs, slabs, these are blocks here. So again, could do that and then that. Yep, that makes it pretty non-spawnable. So it is the moment of truth. We're taking the flyby, the proper flyby of, yeah, from, oh, let's, let's, let's go from a zoomer's base. Let's see what it's like if he comes in via this way. What is that over there? It's a ship. It is a very big, well, it's a medium-sized ship, isn't it, really? It's nothing too crazy. Oh, but there it is. In all this glory, I really like it. I'm a really big fan. So if you guys do like it too, let me know down below. Leave a like on the video, of course, if you like it too. Um, as for everything else, though, I don't know what I'm going to do down here. So suggestions are more than welcome. I think for now I might just fill it with some chests, make it look pretty cool like that. Uh, we will have to figure out the dock next episode or the episode after. Um, but other than that, I really, really am digging it. I really like uh, the fact that I added some more ambles and stuff like that to it. And a little bit of stone. I like I like the mixing up of, of things. I might carry on adding detail to it as we go. Definitely something at the back, doesn't it, though? Like, I feel like it's a bit... Mm, a bit plain? I'm not sure. I don't know. You guys can let me know, of course, down below as always. But yeah, really, really like it. The shape is way better than I expected and... Yeah, very, very happy with it. I think it looks good. I think it looks snazzy, and I think it goes in the area pretty well. Well, I didn't have a crazy amount of chests, so I've just chucked a few down there. We'll organise that a little bit better in the future. I want to grab that. I want to grab this too. Actually, shall I add that to it? The crafting table maybe maybe here might be kind of cool. Yeah, that looks good. It's like a little added bit of detail. Okay, so what I want to do now is... Get rid of the majority of these because it looks just silly just them poking out. Well, imagine there being a dock there that it's going to be attached to about to there. Um, and what we're going to do is fly off. That didn't, <laughs> that really didn't work, did it? No, there we go, there we go, fly off. I want to see how well this thing glows in the dark. I'm definitely going to need a torch above the flag once I add that. But there you go, guys. I think it looks pretty mystical. I think it looks pretty magical. 
And yeah, any changes, let me know down below, guys. But I'm very happy with that. That is the only thing we need lit up as well. Uh, obviously, carpet on the sails has helped massively. That's why I kept it with wool. And I didn't do concrete or anything else that actually would have, in the end, at the end of the day, been a lot easier to do. But that is it for this episode, guys. I've run out of time. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.